assembly of FC automation drive C enclosure. By the end of this module, you will get a basic understanding on assembly of FC automation drive C enclosure. Now, let me explain to you how to assemble FC automation drive C enclosure. The assembly of FC automation drive C enclosure starts with the assembly of the following parts capacitor banks, fan assembly, rectifier module, inrush PCB, RFI unit, IGBT module, current sensor unit, power card unit, control card unit, front cover. The first part to be assembled in the assembly of FC automation drive C enclosure is to assemble the capacitor banks. For C1, there are two capacitors. Insert the capacitors and start of by tightening the eight screws, that is, four screws of each of the two capacitors, as indicated, to a torque value of 4 newton meter. In case of C2, tighten 16 screws, that is, four screws of each of the four capacitors, as indicated. Now you have assembled the capacitor banks. Next step is to assemble the fan. For C1, fix the fan assembly by tightening the two screws to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter, as indicated, using a torque wrench. The assembly of the C2 fan unit differs from that of the C1 fan unit. The C2 enclosure has two fans, whereas the C1 enclosure has a single fan. In case of C2, fix the fans by tightening the 3 plus 2 screws to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter, as indicated, using a torque wrench. The next step is to assemble the rectifier module. Before the assembly of the rectifier module, you should follow some instructions in order to obtain equal dissipation of heat over the entire rectifier surface. First, remove previously applied heat compound areas on the chassis surface without scratching the surface. After that, apply the heat compound from a dispenser on the chassis. The compound should be applied to the chassis before the assembly of the rectifier module in order to obtain equal distribution of heat over the entire rectifier surface. Let me now explain the procedure to assemble the rectifier module. Fix the rectifier module and tighten the six screws of the rectifier module, that is, two screws of each of the three rectifiers, as indicated. Take a look at the illustration. It shows tightening patterns for rectifier. The conducting pads on the gates is removed just before placing the wires in turns. This precaution is made in order to protect the different modules. It should be noted that while tightening a screw to the set value in newton meter, we should first tighten until the screw head is flush, and then tighten the screws to the required set value, that is, 1.5 newton meter, in this case, using a torque wrench. After tightening to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter, finally, you have to tighten the screws to a torque value of 3.5 newton meter, using a torque wrench. The next part to be assembled is the inrush PCB. But, before assembling the inrush PCB, you need to assemble the following. First fix in the bus bar channel of RFI filter and tighten the three nuts of the bus bar channel of RFI filter to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter using a torque wrench. 
follow by fixing the bus bar unit and tighten the eight screws of the bus bar unit as indicated to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter finally plug in the six strips of wires to the tp1806 connector now i shall list out to you on how to assemble the inrush pcb first mount the inrush pcb then Tighten the six screws of the inrush PCB, as indicated to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Follow by fixing the connector TP1806. You have done with the assembly of the inrush PCB. The next part to be assembled is the RFI filter. First mount the RFI filter. Then, tighten the four screws of the filter to fix to the cheeses, as indicated to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. Finally, tighten the three screws and connect the cables to the bus bar, as indicated, to a torque value of 2.2 newton meter, using a torque wrench. The next part to be assembled is the IGBT module. Before the assembly of the IGBT module, you should follow some instructions in order to obtain equal dissipation of heat over the entire IGBT surface. First remove previously applied heat compound areas on the chassis surface without scratching the surface. After that, apply the heat compound from a dispenser on the chassis. The compound should be applied to the chassis before the assembly of the IGBT module in order to obtain equal distribution of heat over the entire IGBT surface. Let me now explain the procedure to assemble the IGBT module. For C1, tighten the eight screws, that is two screws, of each of the four IGBTs as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using the torque wrench in case of c2 tighten the 16 screws that is four screws of each of the four igbts as indicated to a torque value of 1.5 newton meter using the torque wrench <laughs> 